with film in the studio and today I'm going to do another video. Let's go inside and see what it's about. Hello, this is Douglas Film in the studio and today I'm going to take a look at a 30 watt LED spotlight which I bought off of Amazon.com from the seller How Sweet H-O-U-S-W-E-E-T I wouldn't recommend you do it. It's got a short power cord on it, 30 centimeters long, and as you can see, the it has three wires, each five millimeters squared, which should be adequate for the power that goes through it. But the lead is way too short for what I need it for, so I'm going to replace the power cord with a normal uh, power cord that goes on a computer, you know, it's got the, um, what is it, C13 uh, uh, plug on the end that goes into the computer. And what's it got on? It's got the uh, 515 uh, plug that goes into the wall. That's the uh, NEMA standard. And if we look on the side of the cord itself, we see it has three wires. 18 average wire gauge or 0.824 millimeters squared for you Europeans. And the ends are made by uh, Voltec, a, uh, an English company which is now part of the Siemens group. This is the uh, 15 uh, plug on the end and this is the C13 uh, and that plugs into the computer. Anyway, uh, Voltec is now part of the big uh, Siemens group, the big German company. And lastly, it's ROH compliant, which means it doesn't have a lot of toxic chemicals in it, no element cadmium. So your kids can chew on it, or your dog can chew on it, your cat can chew on it, and not be hurt by the... Uh, contents of the power cord that can just be uh, you know injured when the electricity uh, reaches them if they get all the way to the uh, bare wires. So now I'm going to trim the power cord here. I'm going to clip off the uh, C13 plug. I'll cut it a little long so I can uh, use it if I need something. I'm using my trusty uh, dog toenail clippers so now I need to uh, strip the wires. Where are the wires? This is a voiceover. Yeah, I'm going to st strip the wires, but you don't need me to see me uh, fumble around with the wires, so I'll be back. And presto, I stripped the wires, and as you can see, they're the American Standard with the black hot wire, the uh, white neutral wire, and the green grounding wire. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, yakking here. I don't know why it's going so long. I don't want to uh, have to go back and edit the video. Eventually, something different's going to happen here. So let's see what's going on. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, I'm going to take the light apart. Yeah, so I'm going to flip it over on the back. And this thing is not that well made. The screws don't fit flush in the front. Uh, the cover that covers the glass is bent up. It's not the greatest, not the best quality in the world. So anyway, yeah, put it down, damn it. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to take off the four screws in the back and uh, see what's underneath the screws. So here I am working with a, a cheap old screwdriver. And to the magic of any of these screws should come off rather quickly. Come on, quit fumbling with that. Get it off of there. Pull it off. Come on, take it off. Okay, now I'm lifting off the uh, back that contains the uh, guts. And as you can see, there's the uh, transformer which powers the LED. And it is hot glued down. And surprise, surprise, there's a green grounding wire with a lug on the end, which is connected to nothing. So, yeah, that's uh, 
doesn't meet any uh, electrical standards, codes of safety, any place in the world. At least, you know, not in the uh, civilized world. And the colors are the European colors there with the, uh, what is it, the brown hot, with the blue uh, ground and the green and yellow uh, earth ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the wires here and remove that little short lead so I can put the longer lead on. Okay, through the magic of video, I'm back and the wires are stripped. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away because you guys don't need to see me fumbling around with my solder iron as I solder the wires together. I use uh, either 63% tin, you know, 37% lead or 60-40 solder. Either one works well for me. Hey, yeah, we're back and we got the water solder. We're back and we've got the wires soldered together there. And you can see the solder beads on the uh, bottom of the compartment there. Yeah, the, the wires are together. I don't have any heat shrink to put around there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just wrap some uh, you know, electric tape around there. Note to self, buy better electric tape. The uh, tape I have is old and didn't stick together too well so let's see if we're going to be back here soon with the electric tape around it yes we are and we pulled out a little bit so we get a little different view you can see my Heiko soldering iron there and the uh, pink uh, NZXT computer case which is no longer used so there's a little gasket there I, it takes me a while to figure out how to get that on so I get the gasket back on and then I screw on the uh, the back there. Come on, oh, bald head alert there. A bald head alert, protect your eyes from the glare. Come on, old man, let's get that on there. Okay, anytime now. There's my dog toenail clippers up there, which work great as side cutters. I think they got those at the uh, dollar store. So I'm um, put a screw on there. The uh, By the way, the... Uh, little uh, strain relief thing um, worked really good for the computer cord and I don't have a lug so I'm just putting the uh, earth ground by the screw and screwing it on and when I'm done I'm gonna check the continuity here to make sure that the earth ground works come on let's get that in there not too tight not too tight don't want to strip the screws okay let's get the the fluke meter and continuity mode. Let's check the uh, leads, make sure it has continuity. Beep! Yeah, it works just fine. So let's uh, check and make sure it's earthed. I got one end to the earth plug. Beep! No. Beep! 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 Yeah, the painted surfaces aren't going to, you know, have continuity, but the screws all work fine. So we've got the earth ground connected up just fine. So the next thing we're going to do is plug it in and see if it uh, actually produces light. So I'm plugging it in right now, and I'll flip on the switch and lift it up here any minute now, any second now. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Come on. Yeah. Beep. Yeah, there's light. Hello. There's light. So we know it produces light. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to take off the front cover here and have a look at the LED cob itself. Okay, I'm taking off the front metal part, which is kind of, uh, you know, warp doesn't really fit on there real good. Okay, any moment now, pick that up. Yeah, there it is. You can kind of see it was warped there. And there's a really nice piece of glass there, which... Uh, covers it then there's a gasket behind that as this is a spotlight most people are going to put it outside so it's going to be reasonably waterproof if you do it right so get rid of that and there's the reflector it's got a you know a little uh, ding on there it's not the best quality job and there's only two screws in it and the screw i'm working on now is in there all cattywampus and they have a heck of a time getting it out i got the uh, top screw out anyways you know, the magic of video, we got it done. And there's the LED cob. And if you can look around, 
you can see that there's uh, plenty of heat sink compound around it. Now I'm going to hook up the uh, bench power supply to it, red to red, black to black, and let's see how the uh, LED lights up. All righty, let's see here. We've got her on like 14 volts. We're going to crank up the power. Oh, my God, look at that. It's crap LED. Only a few uh, of the LEDs come on at a time. You know, they should all come on together. And eventually it produces a lot of light, but I need to have sunglasses to look at it to see how many LEDs are actually lighting. It should have three strips of 10 LEDs each. Okay, I'm blocking my eyes because it is bright when you're looking right at it. And I only go up to 28 volts where it's got 0 0.069 uh, milliamps or 0 0.69 amps. So now I'm uh, putting the reflector uh, back on this. But first, yeah, I got the reflector on. Now I'm putting on the... Uh, the gasket, then I put on the glass, then I'll put on the front cover. I had to wash off the glass, the backside, because I had all kinds of fingerprints on it, and I didn't think I needed fingerprints on the underside of the glass. Now we're going to put on the bent cover. Come on, let's get going here. Yeah, there's the bent cover. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. It's going to go on. There we go. I'm going to put the four screws in, and I think through the magic of video, they will get uh, put in. Yeah, working the little cheap uh, screwdriver set. So we've got that all uh, back together now. I'm going to check it again, make sure it lights, and it lights. Okay, this thing was advertised as a 30-watt LED, well, spotlight, well, it only pulls 22.3 watts. Okay, that's it for today. This has been Douglas Film. Until next time, goodbye.